Welcome to the New Jersey Department of Transportation's training course on Emergency Relief, the local public agency's guide. When disaster strikes, the Federal Highway Administration, or FHWA, Emergency Relief Program can help state and local agencies fund repairs to roads, bridges, and other infrastructure eligible for federal aid. In this training course, you will learn what constitutes emergency relief and what supporting documents are required for initial and final submittals. You'll also receive tips for good record keeping. What is emergency relief? Emergency relief is funding for roads and bridges damaged by a natural disaster, such as a hurricane, earthquake, flood, or tornado. It also covers catastrophic failures of bridges and other infrastructure due to external causes, such as a barge collision. Depending on the extent of damage, the type of emergency relief falls into two categories, emergency repairs and permanent work. What are emergency repairs? Emergency repairs are made to restore essential traffic, minimize the extent of damage, or protect the remaining facilities. Emergency repairs completed within the first 270 days after a disaster are 100% reimbursed. Examples of emergency repairs include erection and removal of barricades and detour signs, construction of temporary roadway connections, erection of temporary detour bridges, temporary substitute highway traffic service, including ferry or transit service, dynamiting and other removal of drift piling up on bridges, placing riprap around piers and bridge abutments to relieve severe ongoing scour action, placing riprap on the downstream slopes of approach fills to prevent scour from overtopping, replacing washed out embankments and approach fills, regrading of roadway surfaces, roadway fills and embankments placing final roadway surfaces when needed to restore essential traffic. For emergency relief reimbursement, initial submittals must be submitted right after the natural disaster. Initial submittals include the FHWA 1547, also known as a Detailed Damage Inspection Report, or DDIR, which reflects the estimated cost of repair based on the initial damage assessment. This should be signed by an LPA engineer, an NJDOT representative in the field, as well as by the FHWA. A project location map, which can be pulled from Bing, Google, or USGS. A description of the damages. Captioned pictures of the damaged infrastructure. A straight line diagram, which includes the location of the project on the federal aid route and classification and proof of eligibility for FHWA funding. What is permanent work? Permanent work includes major construction involved in the reconstruction and replacement of transportation facilities in order to restore the highway or bridge to its pre-disaster condition. The replacement of bridges, construction of retaining structures, highway relocation, or addition of significant protective measures are usually considered permanent repairs. Projects are submitted to NJDOT within 15 months of the storm event and follow the regular federal authorization process. Work conducted 180 days after the disaster event is reimbursed at a lesser rate, usually 80%. Permanent work will likely require some design effort, as well as geotechnical studies or other engineering studies, structural analysis, or environmental reviews, and will typically require the development of plans, specifications, and estimates. For emergency relief reimbursement, an initial and final submittal is required. The initial submittals are the FHWA DDIR, a project location map, which can be pulled from Bing, Google, or USGS. A description of the damages. Captioned pictures of the damaged infrastructure. A straight line diagram. The FHWA DDIR includes report number, disaster number, project location, description of damage, emergency repair based on quantities from emergency contracts, 
permanent work based on quantities from emergency contracts. Engineering construction costs. The signature of LPA representative. Concurrence. Description of damages. Be descriptive. Describe the nature and extent of the problem or damage, not the work to be done to repair the damage. Flood damage to roadway will not suffice. A good description example is, 200 feet of northbound lane along with shoulder is washed out two feet wide at varying depth from six to 18 inches deep. Justification for the project. Describe the repair in detail. If the project is considered a betterment, a cost-benefit analysis, along with justification, must be submitted to FHWA through the NJDOT for prior approval. Pictures of the repaired structure with captions. Take multiple pictures from different angles. Each picture is required to have the date and time. Caption each picture with a brief description. Because emergency relief is a reimbursement program, there are two agreements. Agreement between the LPA, county, and NJDOT. This agreement is written and managed by the local aid district offices. Agreement between the LPA, county, and the contractor. This agreement is written and managed by the LPA, county. Be sure to keep good records and retain the following for reimbursement. Paid invoices, contractor bids, canceled checks, timesheets, labor records, equipment records, material records, material source documentation, for example, Buy America, LPA Engineers Certification, Chief Financial Officers Certification. If you have any questions, please submit them to NJDOT's Local Aid Resource Center. In the event of a disaster, we will be here to guide you through the process. You can contact us at 609-649-9395, njdotlocalaidrc.com, or dot-localaid.resourcecenter at dot.nj.gov. Follow us on social media to learn more.